Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to today's FIFA 13 video. Again, we're just we're just rolling out these FIFA 13 videos. It's a lot of fun and uh, the demo comes out pretty soon actually. I think it's on the 11th for us Brits. And uh, yeah, so today I put on my Facebook what game would you guys like to see? Would you like to see this game here? Um, Brazil versus France or would you prefer to see Italy versus Spain? So uh, yeah, my Facebook link will be in the description. I'll do that again for tomorrow or um, yeah, just so go check that out if you want. But yeah, like I said, we have today we have Brazil versus France and two quality quality sides on FIFA 13 I'll talk a little bit about them in a second but uh, I just want to say a huge huge thank you for 100,000 subscribers I recently hit that I hit that uh, not, not yesterday but the day before and uh, that is just incredible a hundred thousand people um, are subscribed to me that is really immense so I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone um, who has done so and I hope you guys enjoy the videos and the the videos to come I do hope to create like a hundred thousand subscriber special video I, I'll definitely try and uh, work something up there if any of you guys have any recommendations on what sort of video you'd like to see for that um, I was thinking like a pretty cool setup video or something along those lines but uh, let me know what you'd like to see anyways let's talk about FIFA 13 while you're all here while you've all clicked the video and uh, yeah so we have Brazil versus France these two teams, like I said, both very good. I'll talk a little bit about Brazil to kick it off with. Um, at the at in the Brazil side, we pretty much have an all-time low, and that pretty much means that there are only two five-star skillers in the Brazilian national squad. That's Ganso and obviously Neymar. Um, that was a bit of a letdown for me, really. You know, Brazilian the Brazil teams have always been the team I'd pick if I wanted to use some skills or something along those lines. But Hulk with a nice turn and puts it into the back of the net, and uh, Hulk is a very good player. Only four-star skills again. But that's kind of expected. He was only four star in FIFA 12. Although I have to admit, in FIFA 11, he was uh, he was five star, and uh, he was a fantastic five star skiller. I was uh, kind of in the back of my mind, always hoping that he was going to be a, a brought back to five star skills in um, FIFA 13. But it doesn't look too likely. But like I say in every video, these things can always change right up to the last minute. So uh, that's something to keep in mind. Don't get your hopes too down when you see these sort of things. But um, Brazil attacking wise very good um, I tend to change out Pato for Demao, Demia, I'm not too sure Leandro Demao or something like that I really apologize for butchering his name there but uh, I tend to swap him out uh, Pato in this game is very good um, I don't think he's as good as, good as he was in FIFA 12 um, FIFA 12 he was lethal he had 5 star skills as well um, he's obviously been downgraded to 4 star by the looks of things um, but yeah he is still a fantastic striker there aren't that too many striking options when they play the default formation that Brazil have chosen um, I believe Neymar moves out more to the left wing than anything so um, that's a that's quite interesting but Neymar one of the best players I've used in FIFA 13 uh, he is incredible insane ball control insane shooting insane pace just everything about him is amazing uh, that's that literally the truth um, in FIFA 12 I thought he was a little bit overrated a lot of people said uh, you know his rating really didn't reflect how he played in game for me he was quite inconsistent but in FIFA 13 he just seems so good I don't know what it is you know he, when I take a shot with him I always feel as though at least gonna challenge the keeper at least go on target and uh, he's just nifty and nippy and he's one of those players that you want in your team uh, I was tempted to actually put him up as a striker instead of playing on that left wing but he actually seems to do really well over there a lot of space to do skill moves and he just has a lot more time on the ball um, for some reason he decided to drop a little bit deeper there and um, this uh, this Brazil squad is very nice obviously the two center backs are lethal you have the likes of Thiago Silva and David Luiz David Luiz being one of the most overpowered uh, FIFA 12 center backs in the game uh, again in FIFA 13 he's a very powerful one maybe not as uh, overpowered as he was in FIFA 12 but definitely still uh, my first choice as a center back then you got Thiago Silva Thiago Silva just what you expect a pacey strong solid center back and he does the job but I definitely say David Luiz is up there uh, my favorite center back in the game though over uh, the, in all the teams has got to be Pepe. Pepe from Real Madrid or Portugal is just incredible. Literally, guys, you have to try him out when you get your hands on the game. 
Uh, he's so good. Him and Neymar definitely really impressed me. And a little flick up there, but unfortunately the ball went wide. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the French side. Menez, I think he's a left mid now or a left wing. Uh, he could still be centre mid. I could be wrong there. But he has been moved down to four star skills, which is a little bit disappointing. He was definitely, if anyone watched my starting from scratch, or it's also known as a road to glory these days, um, you guys will know that I was really a fan of Menez and a bit of trickery there from Neymar. And he manages to grab himself a free kick just outside of the box. Um... But yeah, you know, the French side, very good. But the star player on the French side, for me, has got to be Ribéry. He is just incredible in this. He just reminds me of a Messi, but out on the wing. That's literally what it is. Uh, Five-star skills for him as well. Uh, um, just all around really good. I know in FIFA 12, I found that he just couldn't finish his D. T? D? What am I talking about? He couldn't finish his T at all. And the keeper there makes a horrible error. Fortunately, though, the op opposition couldn't ca capitalize on it. But yeah, Ribéry, definitely the, my favorite player in the French squad so far. Um, Five-star skills, just all around really solid. And he just feels so nippy. And he doesn't get pushed off the ball. That was one of the things in FIFA 12. Ribéry was very much like Messi. You could just nudge him off the ball easily but it seems to be that his a uh, great balance and just uh, he, I think he's had an improvement improvement on strength as well um just does really well and I was speaking to Japes who is actually a Bayern Munich fan and he says that's very much how he is in real life as well so I think they did a good job of portraying him well in this game but Ganso they're the second five-star skiller in the Brazilian squad manages to get that 90th minute goal and that ends the game 2-0 I hope you all enjoyed this video if you did then any like comments or things like that would be much appreciated um end of the day you that's know, how I, you I win really these games so i ended up I going with an rvp and hernandez or rvp on your screen right now are two videos well um, bet combination i found those videos, those so players are much um, much better than having some of the games both I've rvp already, and rooney and, uh, on at the same time so, now don't get me wrong guys if i could get both of those players on and play really well i absolutely would but i just struggled to find the right formation and right players to go around them that would feed both those two players who 